I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing So cold, behold yeah. That is beautiful. Let's get it out. Wow. You are an artiste, my friend. This is fantastic. Wow. I am glad that people are loving our work, the collab between uh, custom controllers and myself. Here's a mock-up of the uh, initial design. Unfortunately, we were not able to get the uh, entire printing process or painting process in this matter, but here's the final result of it painted before it got assembled. And to keep with the wrestling uh, theme of this video, we're gonna continue on painting some other uh, wrestling theme uh, controllers. And let's go ahead and get started with this one. And to continue doing the work, let's go ahead and get these items prepped. And it's going to be the process for the majority of controllers. We're going to clean these guys up, sand them, and uh, get them ready to uh, put a clear coat uh, primer. And it's called Auto Born Sealer. You've uh, heard me say that uh, in multiple videos before. And that's what we're going to be using today as well. After putting down the Auto Born Sealer, we're going to put the base coat. In this case, it's going to be white, similar to the controller itself already. And the reason why I do this is this: there's a lot of variations in color between the, um, the plastics. And I want to make sure that every single piece is exactly uh, the same color. So this way I'm, I'm you know, repainting it white uh, with the paint that I have. And uh, this way I know it's good to go. And of course, we want to create a base. Um, that's gonna take our uh, stencils as well. So I went ahead and apply uh, another layer of Autoborn sealer before adding all these decals here. So we're using regular vinyl sticker material and all I did was uh, created some stripes and try to apply those evenly and straight as possible. There are certain areas that are kind of funky, like in the center, it's pretty straight. So, I mean, it's gonna wrap around fairly nicely but when you start getting into the curve some of the uh, stripes kind of tend to want to curve a different area uh, when you get to the edges it's going to want to go in a certain direction and trying to lining up trying to line up uh, both uh, the front and the back plate to match was very difficult so we had to kind of figure it out a little bit and try to cross link some of the lines so this way we can get a, a kind of like a fair uh, even um, you know black and white lines without making them look a little funky you'll see what i mean and while we're painting i just want to let you guys know that i have an etsy shop where i do a lot of uh, custom work and personalized gifts that you can buy uh, for your loved ones. The majority of the projects that are shown here are more uh, geared towards like hand painted stuff. Also do branded merch for businesses and for like weddings and stuff like that. So you'll uh, see that on the website as well. I'm gonna leave a link in the uh, description below. This way you guys can check it out. Uh, but for now, let's continue on this uh, touchpad. I also want to take the time right now and give everybody a shout out that has subscribed or even just watched some of the videos uh, before. It really helps me out. I'm trying to get, you know, a lot of subscribers and a lot of viewership. Hopefully you guys are learning some of this stuff uh, and uh, I hope, that, you know, that uh, kind of works out for you like, you know, whatever project you're working on. And uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. I would love to uh, do a Q&A. And uh, about anything pretty much you know anything that has to do with some of these projects uh, but other than that let's continue on and uh, checking out this uh, controller it's a very simple design we're just gonna go black and white stripes but again like I said the uh, the challenging part is getting a very straight line in between the two colors and wrapping those uh, decals around uh, the curved edges which is very very difficult to do
all right everything is painted and here comes the uh, kind of nerve-wracking uh, portion of the the project is peeling all these decals because sometimes you peel some of that uh, stuff back and the black portion that you just painted will either peel off or you have some of that white base peeling off which is not what you want so in this case make sure you are using a uh, autoborn sealer in between each uh, kind of layer in between each color this way it kind of is more durable and uh, if you apply a little bit of autoborn sealer onto your paint it also makes it more durable for it to stick onto the uh, previous coat that you painted A little touch up goes a long way so let's go ahead and do that now let's clear it so we can continue on and adding some graphics on here and this way we can protect the bottom coat or the bottom base coloring and we don't have to worry about anything and of course there's a little you know variation in, in depth when you add an additional coat so that stuff kind of gets filled in and uh, so we're gonna end up sanding some of that clear away anyways sometimes some of these uh, controllers get about five to like eight different uh, coats of clear and that's because I'm uh, painting I'm sanding and painting and sanding and trying to get as much as uh, a smooth finish as possible with no uh, you know no orange peel or anything like that so that's why uh, we need to you know sand and continue painting so the last coat always looks like glass which is what we want all right let's carry on to stenciling let's go ahead and take a look how we layer some of these colors on top of each other in continuation with the celebration of having 1,000 subscribers I want to continue at uploading some more videos this week uh, and hopefully you guys will come back and enjoy those videos I have a variety of different stuff uh, happening I have a bunch of stuff that's stored in my drive I need to get out for you guys to check out And don't forget to check out custom controllers I'm gonna leave a link in the description below this way you can check out all their work and all the stuff that they do for other celebrities and uh, let's continue on finishing up this project and it always feels like Christmas every time you peel all those stencils out and you see the final results and of course sometimes it's disappointing when you uh, pull something and it just peels right off it does happen sometimes but uh, you can uh, always prevent it and try to you know pull away against the paint um, this way you're not like pulling up you're kind of pulling a, um, in reverse so you're kind of going against it so it, it almost like it's like ripping a piece of paper and if you do that more than likely uh, you get a nice little clean cut this came out pretty cool the blue itself really stands out against the black and white looks even better in real life unfortunately the camera doesn't pick up the nice hue that that blue is showing off so I think this one came out really good we're gonna do something similar but this time we're gonna go into and do an Xbox controller it's gonna be a similar theme uh, but we're gonna have some two uh, two different characters on the left and on the right side and of course we're gonna have the logo on the back so let's go ahead and get started on that one and you guys know the process we're gonna go ahead and sand and clean and put some base we're trying to get the lines to uh, line up from the front to the back so we have to assemble the entire controller and making sure everything lines up really nicely
Oh yeah, and it feels like Christmas all over again. All right, the base of that controller is done. I'm just gonna go ahead and clear it. And while I do that, I'm gonna clear my uh, working area. This way we have a nice area to work off of. Again, similar to the other controller, we went ahead and cleared everything. And now we're gonna sand it so we can put the graphics on top of that. I am using auto worn sealer on every single color on every single coat. I added a little bit, maybe like 5% onto the paint that I have. Uh, this way uh, it's very durable and uh, I can easily apply another stencil on top of that and it doesn't get you know peeled off when I peel the stencil. All right, and we're almost to the end, finishing up this particular project. We are now finished with the uh, background graphic. We're gonna go ahead and uh, jump on the front and uh, finish the two characters. And we should be almost ready to clear. Having these two uh, characters on the front and uh, on this particular, you know, wrestling theme uh, controller is a little uh, unorthodox, but I think it's uh, kind of unique and special in its own way. So let's uh, make sure we do a great job of painting these characters. We are using water-based paints. It's all acrylic. As long as you let that dry, uh, you know, completely, your clear should be okay going over this and protecting all the artwork and stuff that you've done uh, so far. So let's go ahead and finish up and let everything dry. We're gonna go ahead and clear it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the final results once it's been dried and put together. Well guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Again, thank you so much for subscribing. We met our goal of 1,000 subscribers and we have a little uh, contest happening. So I'll let you guys know that. Uh, if you've been watching uh, my channel, you know what it is already, uh, but uh, stay tuned for some of the future videos. Hopefully I'll see you guys on the next video and take it easy for now. Bye-bye.